My name is Janice Wehret and I'm the director and founder of Cannavale Organic Adventures. On the site we offer alternative education services, vet, doctors, health boards, charities refer people to us for well-being. When I took the land on, I was in a bit of a dark place myself, but I discovered that coming in here every day, I began to grow stronger, and so I experienced the benefits of nature and well-being myself, really, um, and I wanted to share that with others. Green prescribing is when a doctor writes a prescription, but it's not for medicine. It's to get a patient to, to do something that will empower them or improve their well-being. I think we all realise after COVID that connecting with nature makes us feel better. And it's almost like a gut feeling that nature has a good impact on our well-being and our form of life. But surprisingly, there's very little scientific data to prove that really is the case. We've measured that for a number of years, but linking up with Cardiff University now, we've also started correlating that with time spent in nature, helping us to, you know, to adapt our, our measuring tools to, so that we can really show the full impact. So this project, working with the community, is an opportunity for us to generate that data, which will then allow us to go off and support more projects like this across the country. The Clinical Innovation Accelerate project within Cardiff University have really supported us, not just with, with funding this project. They've offered a lot of practical support. They've brought in a lot of experts that, that provide me with, with the knowledge that I didn't have myself. We have been able to employ a researcher full-time to work on this project. We've also been able to secure funding to help create a nature trail. So we're actually building a nature trail, which is going to allow the visitor to make a journey through time. Cardiff University will send in the archaeologist. We will carry out an archaeological dig and examine the pollen from different time periods. And then we will recreate those areas here. So we will have a medieval curse and remedy garden, we we'll have an Ice Age woodland. We will have a Celtic meadow with a Celtic roundhouse uh, with a view to not just increasing biodiversity, but also monitoring the well-being of the referrals that come to us to help create that trail. We've also been able to link out through our network to local healthcare providers. And what we're doing is we're facilitating those conversations with Janice. We're really lucky to have this place um, so close to our practice and in fact our cluster of practices in the Cunnan Valley, uh, many of which use this. The few that I have followed appear to be really benefiting from coming here. It looks as if there are benefits but actually we really do need a lot more in the way of, of proper designed research. To, so that we can actually quantify, you know, how much green health does somebody need, uh, how often, all of that kind of thing uh, we don't really have the answers to. Before the Cardiff University project, we were just a group of individuals, you know, on a plot of land trying our best, whereas now people are starting to see that there are positive outcomes and that there is some substance to what we do. The project here in Abercannon is was set up by Janice and colleagues and is a great example of what individuals can do to make a change in their, in their environment. So projects like Accelerate play a key role in connecting the, the great idea with the people who have the ability to actually develop that as a product. And having seen how it's developed over the last three years, the potential is just enormous. It's, it's taken our organisation to a completely different level, um, somewhere that I'd never anticipated that we would be. They've been really friendly, really supportive, and the publicity and the recognition that we get from this project will also bring in lots of new partners. Green prescribing isn't a well-known concept, but I'm looking forward to working with Cardiff University to help raise awareness of the benefits of nature on well-being. I've seen it change lives and I would just I would like to see more people benefit from that.